Hello YouTubers, Hobo Coasty here. Um, just want to do a quick down and dirty review of the Pelican R40 Ruck Case Humidor by Warfighter Tobacco Company. A um, little background, I'm kind of stuck on a law enforcement training center um, at an academy um, that shall remain nameless. Due to COVID-19, they're not letting anybody who's not vaccinated leave. Um, you know, doesn't matter where you stand on vaccination or whatever. I'm going to get mine eventually um, now that the Johnson & Johnson's out. But uh, And then I'll be able to leave. But right now I can't leave without um, quitting training. So um, so I'm stuck here. So And I wanted to get back into smoking cigars. I've been away from cigars for quite a while. Um, and uh, there's a lot of boredom here because I can't leave. So I was like, uh, you know, I'm going to get back into some of the little, nice, little niceties of... Uh, of life so I was doing a lot of research on on these um, there's a few YouTube videos out for the R20 uh, which is of course smaller and the R60 which is the big boy um, but they didn't really nobody really had anything on the R40 so I really couldn't tell and uh, looking at Warfighters website here um, they never really give you the pictures that you want to see to see you know like I saw that there's five cigars in here but I couldn't tell you know they didn't show you down in there so I didn't know you know how many of them would fit I, it was kind of hard to tell what this thickness was to see if it was gonna have the room um, you know I just I couldn't get the pictures that I wanted and of course in this description they don't tell you how many it holds um, whereas in the other ones they do they tell you exactly how many it holds so and then in a couple of pictures they show the cigars on top like this well it looks like it won't close um, and these are these are little things like I'm, I'm kind of OCD and these are little things that I want to know you know before I buy something um, so I just kind of took the leap of faith and I bought this uh, this R40 um, and incidentally I'm very happy but I just wanted to make sure there's more information out there for people who who are trying to maybe make a similar purchase so um, I, the way mine is configured I got it in black um, I've got, uh, I bought no cigars with it, um, nothing against Warfighter Tobacco, it's just, uh, I've got other brands that I'm, that I'm into and whatnot. I got the, uh, the Field Lighter combo, so this was the price, I think shipped, it was $85 and some change, uh, with tax and all that stuff, you can see right now it's sold out, so I guess I got in there at the right time, because I just got this on, uh, Monday, I think is when it actually shipped to me, um, so, uh, so yeah, um, that's what I paid right there, 85 bucks shipped and all that, so um, let's get into it. Um, what it comes with is pretty much everything you see here. Let me open it up, I'll show you which, uh, which field uh, lighter and cutter they give you. Um, so this one is mine, that's my Firebird V-Cut. Um, this is what it comes with, no cigars, I got, I got no cigars, but... Um, it's the Firebird cutter there, and um, same with the lighter. Uh, it does have the Warfighter logo on both of those, so that's kind of cool. I haven't even put fluid in there. I've got my own lighter that I use for um, for it, which is a double flame, but uh, that's a single, by the way. So uh, it does come with a Bovida pack, uh, which I have in there. Um, some cool things you know the reason why i wanted this one being a little bigger than the r20 is because i wanted to have all my stuff together i'm also going to get a punch cut uh to put in here um so I, you know i should have room i got more more of these velcro things um it, it came with three but i've got some for computer cords that i'm going to use so um this is designed to hold toro size cigars okay and i and i I see why I've got a flathead 660 here which uh, which is a Gordo size and this Primos here which is the same size um, and the 60 ring size is just a little bit too big for this but it's not a big deal you can kind of see how how it doesn't want to sit in there properly but it still it, it's fine it, it goes in it closes um, doesn't smash the cigars or anything like that <clears throat> but um, but you can see that it will hold five. Okay, so we've got one, two, and, and, and again, these are all I have right now because I'm kind of stuck on this base. I got a buddy who uh, goes and gets them for me. There's th uh, four and 
five. So five will fit in there. Five Toros, no problem. Um, so uh, if you're, you know, if you're curious, it's, it'll hold five. And um, the pictures that they showed showed cigars on top, and I was like, well, there's no way that you're going to be able to put the cigar in there, and um, <clears throat> and close the lid. Turns out I was wrong. So I could actually drop this guy right in here and take these out, close it up. And I imagine I've got five cigars in there. I can drop another, probably three Toro sized cigars up here and still have my gear. And, uh, oh, hold on, you want to, you want to, you definitely want to watch out for these guys, but then, uh, but then it closes just fine. So, um, yeah. And if you don't have your gear in here, then obviously you could hold 10 cigars very comfortably with the Boveda pack. You could even put, you know, you could probably put a lighter and a cutter up there together. So, um, yeah, you could hold 10, 10 Toro size cigars very comfortably with this, um, with this humidor. So, I'm um, really excited about it. I did look at, um, different sizes you know I, de I deliberated over the uh so if we go back to their page here we'll go to the 20 right here um you look at the interior you've got uh 3.4 inches and, and what i was looking at is the depth so across this way because that tells you how many you're going to get in there and they should they do a pretty good job showing you here that you're going to get four across so that one would probably hold eight and probably still have a little bit of room for a light a, you know a lighter and a cutter up in here with your Boveda pack. Um, but that's the 20. <clears throat> and then the, uh, the 40 is actually a little bit, uh, shorter, um, height wise. It's 1.9 inches. Whereas the 20, if I go back is two inches. So not much different, but just a little bit of difference there. The, um, the 20 is also not as long, but it really doesn't matter because, um, they, all, they, they all say you can put, put Toros in there, but you can actually get longer ones in the, in the 40. So, and of course the 60 is the big boy, but actually you only gain, where is it? Like, um, like a half inch in depth this way over the, um, over the 40. So it's not that much bigger. And of course in their pictures, they show that you have, and this is where their photographer kind of did a horrible job because they've got the, the, um, the closure in the way here so you can't really see the room if you got but they've got one two three four five and it looks like they've got room for a sixth um and on this one they do tell you that it will hold 18 cigars so with an increase in depth this one is almost three inches deep then i'm assuming along the bottom of the r60 you can put two rows of cigars there and then you can put another row here so it will hold 18 cigars so it is quite a bit bigger um, there's videos out there for that you can check out the r60 if you want um, but i just wanted to focus on the r40 because there wasn't that much out there for it so um overall i'm very happy it's a pelican so you, it's guaranteed for life i did peel all the stickers but it, it does tell you that it's uh it's waterproof um and they've got all that stuff on here you know on their website about the about the case itself but it is waterproof shockproof you got these nice rubber bumpers it's it's heavy you know so you're not just gonna like throw it in your pocket and it's big you know but but the, for what it for what i wanted it for it's perfect you know i can throw it in the truck and take some cigars with me if i go out on the kayak this is gonna float um did come with this decal looks like they've got some kind of little competition there if you uh put the sticker on something and then take a picture then they might um you know, you might get your, your photo posted on Instagram or something like that. So, but, uh, yeah, it is, uh, overall extremely good quality being, being Pelican, Pelican being what it is. And from what I understand, you can, you can buy this case without the, without the Warfighter, um, challenge coin type emblem there. You can buy this case and the Boveda pack and you're actually, if you buy those on Amazon, you're actually going to pay a little bit more. Um, so that's really the only reason why I bought this. Cause I was like, I could, I could go to, you know, I could just get it on Amazon and, you know, do it myself and, and, you know, but, but, uh, Warfighter, you know, it's a good, it's a good company. It's veteran owned and everything. And I wanted to support them. So, um, and, and I got to save a little bit of money and it's like, I don't know, three to five bucks that you save by going with them. But, uh, 
but again, you know, it's where your money's going, and that's important, too, so, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, I'm kind of rambling, I'm trying to think of anything else that I could think of to say about it, I've got, uh, I've got my buddy going to the cigar shop again today, he's, he's vaccinated, so he's allowed to leave and go, come and go as he pleases, um, so, I'm gonna probably have him go, uh, pick me up some more cigars today, I want to get some, uh, like a five pack in the Toro size, and see how well they fit in here, and, a couple of these guys are probably getting smoked this weekend, so, uh, but, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm real happy with it, if you got any questions, oh yeah, there's the little, um, uh, equalization, uh, pressure equalization valve, you know, Pelican's got them on, on all their, uh, their bot, their cases and whatnot, so, um, and, it, and it's kind of cool that it's hidden when, the, when it's closed, so, um, I think I've covered about everything that I can think of on it. If there's anything at all, you know, any questions that you guys have, just put them in the comments. I would be happy to answer them. But uh, extremely happy with this with this product, and I hope that I've given you, you know, the information on the R40 that you were looking for. Thanks, guys. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Have a good one. Bye.